First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makakudash, double honor to the apostles and elders and great millstone who rule well and who has an honor and truth. This is for the hopefully elect of Israel, which are so called Negros, Latinos, and Native Americans. Also, you speckled birds that scatter across the four corners of the earth, just mingle within the other nations to make it look like the other heathen nations. If this word resonates with you, the lineage go back from your father's side to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and you are the true Hebrew Israelites in which the Bible speaks of. First and foremost, the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Yah is He, Hawa. He is, He exists. The name of His only begotten Son, His beloved Son, is Yahweh Shai. Yah is He, Yahweh Shai, the Savior, the Deliverer. And now, Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai is whom we are looking for to come these last days, and we are in the last, other last days. Okay. I was just meditating on uh, uh, the word, meditating on how the word is going out and how there's day and night, how there's lessons going out. And there's so many that you can't keep up with. And also meditating on what we are supposed to be doing with this word in this grace period because we coming up on a short time. That's in, I think it's in Revelation 12, 12. You know, matter of fact, let me, let me get this. Let me get that right quick. Book of Revelation, 12 chapter. Let's see in 12 verse. And it reads, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. The inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he have, because he knew it that he had but a short time. Okay. Let me read that again. Therefore, rejoice ye heavens. And that's the, this government, this wicked government, earth was given into the hands of the wicked. Job 9, 24. He saw Edom, so-called white man, rich and elite bacon families. Okay. This ruling, this, this ruling today. Okay. And this is Rome 2.0 today. Okay. Ancient Rome, Western Roman Empire that's ruling again in these last days. And ye that dwell in them, woe, which means destruction to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. Okay, the sea represents people, you know. For the devil has come down to you having great wrath because he knew that he hath but a short time. Okay, that short time, that's Esau, Edom, which in these bacon families, okay. He knows that he has a short time. Okay, Revelation 13, 16 is already out there. Okay, just got to be made uh, mandatory, you know. And this devil, you know, he saw Edom, so-called white man, his horn's about to come out. Okay, and when it does, our hell gonna break loose. You know, you're dealing with Jacob's trouble, you dealing with, we already dealing with wars and women's wars, okay. So this thing is about to blow up, okay. And the only one, uh, only uh, people going to be saved out here on this side is Israel, but first and foremost, the elect of Israel, okay? 144,000, 12,000 from each tribe, okay? The, north, the, the, the southern and the northern kingdom, okay? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, okay? Only the elect on this side. But right now, we're the hopeful elect. So we have to put on as the elect. You know, do the things that the elect men of Israel will do, okay? And so let's get to the, let's get to these scriptures, okay? We're going to first start with the book of Habakkuk, okay? Second chapter, and it reads, first verse, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall ask him when I am reproved. You know, so you learn these breakdowns through the apostles and elders, great millstone, and teach you these breakdowns from the, the, the elders, the teachers on down, okay? And it's coming through these scriptures, okay? You know, and then you, and, and once you learn these breakdowns, you teach them. You know, you walk in them and you teach them, you know, because, you know, our Lord and Savior, your house, I come in the volume of the book, okay? I will stand upon my watch. And set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I will answer when I am reproved. Because people want to know, you know, what's going on. 
you know, wisdom, not shall be thy stability of thy times. Uh, uh, Isaiah 33 and 6. Okay. You're going to need wisdom and knowledge and understanding of these scriptures in order to navigate through Jacob's trouble and through the things that are coming upon this earth. Okay. Verse 2. And the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, it's all caps. And again, Yahweh is the Heavenly Father, means that Yah is He, Hawa. He, he is this, He is. Okay. And the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon the table. And make it plain upon the table so that He may run that reading. And that's explaining that when you hear this, you know, when you, you being broken down plainly, and when you hear it, you that you're going to run, okay? You're going to run and find out more. You're going to say, wow, you know, I got to find out. You know, I got to learn this, you know, because it, it, it'll wake, you, wake your mind up, you know, wake your soul up, you know, the hopeful elect, okay? Because everybody's not going to resonate to this word, okay, this new song. And the Heavenly Father Yahweh answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon the table that he may run that reading. You know, and you, you, you learn it, you teach it. Okay? For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry. Wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. And as you know, let's look at that word tarry in the blue letter interlinear. Okay, let's look at that word tarry. Strong's H4102. Mahach. Mahach. Second entry. Mamach. Mamach. And it reads, to linger, tarry, wait, delay. And as, as you see, these prophecies are, are, are coming fast, okay? You know, in when two, the, the year 2023 came here, you know, when the guy here, our apostle to heart came this year, 2023, the year of hopeful prophecy is coming to pass, okay, and that's what you see, okay, Elon Musk already has the, 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 the brain, see hip, okay, then you already got people in Sweden just getting the see hip willingly, and also here in Babylon the Great. Also known, uh, uh, Babylon the Great, which is America, also known as spiritual Sodom in Egypt. Sodom because of the wickedness and the uh, 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 perverse things that it, it does, you know, they do with each other. You know, the, 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 the Sodom and Sodomization of the people and also spiritual Egypt, which is uh, uh, symbolic to uh Similar to the bondage, okay? Because we are still in slavery. It, it's just that it's like in ancient Egypt, you were in, you know, hardcore slavery, just like it is now in, in America. America, which means bitter, uh, 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 Babylon, Babel, it's uh, confusion, okay? They, they, had us, they got us in slavery, they, got us, they had our people in confusion, okay? Now, right now, we in, there are people saying mental slavery, okay? And also, then paper slavery through the laws and the decrees, okay? You slip up out here, uh, you're going to go to prison, and then you're going to really be in hardcore slavery. You, know, you can even look at Haiti. They're right, they, they are right in Haiti right now, the Levites, they're in slavery, bondage, okay? And that comes too. The Edomite nations, the other Edomite nations, they're all one. Whether it's Russia, France, they're all Edomites. Okay. Habakkuk 1, then we have to cook uh, 2. And 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak, and it's speaking. Okay. Loud and clear, you're seeing it. And not lie, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Okay? You know, so we know the Revelation 13, 16 is already out here. It's just got to be made mandatory. Okay? And it's speaking loud and clear. You know, but when they make it mandatory, guess what? You're going to become a slave to, to, to Esau, Edom, so-called white men, rich and elite bacon families. Okay? 
whose agenda is after the devil, okay, because he is the physical counterpart, okay, he is the physical counterpart, and doing, doing the work of Satan, okay, which also is the, in the B system, which will be destroyed by the thermonuclear missiles, if you take it, okay, and this place is going to be destroyed anyway, but if you take it, you're going to be caught up in that destruction, okay, and that's what we're warning you not to take it, Revelation, uh, uh, what's that, 14, 9, no doubt. Okay, get a chance, read it. I'm, I'm, more than likely, I'm going to bring them scriptures up later, okay? Okay, so but our job is to warn you. You know, that's why we go out on the highways and byways. You know, and also, uh, uh, this lesson's going out on the internet, okay? They have their internet body, which they're trying to connect, connect you to through the uh, Revelation 13, 16, okay, through the New World Order, NWO, through the Internet of Things, okay, but the Internet was created for our purpose by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, to do this work, to do the heavy lifting, okay? Because through the, through the heavy lifting, you don't have to go to travel to other countries anymore, you know, you're, you're too dangerous, number one. Okay, and, and it's, it costs money. You got inflation right now. Everybody don't have it like that. But then the internet do all the heavy lifting. Okay, and this word is going out. That's how you know we're at the end of this thing. Okay, let's go to the book of Matthew, St. Matthew. All right, this is the book of St. Matthew, and we're going to go to chapter 24. Okay, go on to the 14th verse. Okay, and it reads. And it's all in red, red letters. So that, that's our Lord and Savior, your house, I speaking, okay? It started at the 12th verse, and it reads, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. See, these are prophecies that, that this already happened, okay? First, first, let's go get that word prophecy, okay? Let's, look at, let's go to the blue letter into linear. I mean, let's go to uh, Edelman Online, okay? We're gonna look at that word uh, prophecy. Prophecy. Let's see what that that means. Okay. Let's see what that means. They say prophecy. Prophesy the function of a prophet. Inspired utterance. The prediction of future events. From old French movie prophecy. Prophesy, okay, let's see. Person who speaks for the most high Yahweh, one who foretells, inspired preaching, my old friends, prophete, prophete, prophet, soothsayer, see more. Let's see. Proto Indo European root meaning to speak, tell, say, it forms all or part of abandon. Okay, let's see. Speak by divine inspiration, foretell future events, prophesying, prophesying. Okay. The now and Okay, see prophecy. Let's see. Okay, prophet. It's what a prophet does. It's a person who speaks for the Most High Yahweh, one who foretells, inspired preaching from old friends. Okay, and it means go down to here because it means for, to say before. One who speaks for, before the Most High Yahweh, inspired preacher or teacher from pro, which means before, from pyro, per, forward, hence, in front or before. Okay, root or finai, to speak from pyro, ha. To speak, tell, to say. And that's to speak before, to say before. Okay? The Greek word you, you, was used in Septuagint for, for Hebrew. 
Okay, soothsayer, inspired prophet, early Latin writers, translated, translated Greek prophetess with Latin uh, vates, but the Latinized from propheta, predominated in post-classical times, chiefly due to Christian writers, probably because of pagan associations of vates. In English, many prophetic writer of the Old Testament is from late 14th circulated Seculation, non-religion since is from 1848, but it means to say before. The prophets, the prophets for the prophetic books of the Old Testament, okay? But it means to say before, to speak, to say before it happens, okay? And we do that by looking at the news reports and, and, and basing it on the scriptures, okay? Because the world don't understand what's 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 going on. But you see the news reports, and then you bring the scriptures co correlate with what you see on the news, and you say before. And basically, what's happening now, which you know, everything we're saying and, and prophesying, is and we're chatting down this wicked uh, queendom. We're chatting down, okay. Matthew twenty four and fourteen. It reads. You know, it started at the uh, 12 verse. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And you're seeing that in the news every day, all right? That's just an example. Iniquity is sin upon sin, okay? And for those who don't know, let's, let's look into that. Blue letter into the linear. Look at that word iniquity, okay? Strong's G458, Anamia. Anamia. The condition of without law, okay, because ignorant of it. You no, know, a lot of people are will, willingly ignorant, you know, because of violating it, contempt of violation of the law, iniquity, wickedness, okay. And the law is only given to, to Israel, the nation of Israel, you know. Let's see. It's just some precepts concerning iniquity, okay? Matthew 7, 23. And then when I profess and tend them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity, sin upon sin. Matthew 13, 41. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of the kingdom all things that offend, and them which do iniquity. Wages of sin is death, okay? Even so, ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men, but within you are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. Okay, that's those that, that, that may uh, appear, you know, like they're keeping law, statutes, commandments, doing things, but inwardly they're, they're, they're not doing it because it's impossible in these bodies to be 100%, okay, free from sin. It's impossible because we're in these bodies. So those who appear and talk that, you know, those, those lies, saying that they, they are, you know, are uh, free from sin, they're a liar, okay? But we do the best that we can. We, we try to offend less, sin less, okay? And, and when we do these things unwillingly, you, you have to pray every day that the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Sahib, keep His mercy upon us, okay? Okay, Matthew 24 and 12, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And due to the iniquity and due to sins, you got uh, you got uh, the pedophilia going on and making it legal. You got uh, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah all over again. Look at that. That's iniquity upon iniquity. And they're proud of it, all right? That's why Sodom, Sodom, Sodom five cities of, uh, of Sodom got destroyed. And it was set up like that by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Sai, for an inside, you know, that the this is not what we are supposed to be doing, or you will be destroyed. So hence, Basra, which is AKA America, okay, spiritual Solomon, Egypt, it's gonna be a sacrifice, it's gonna be an altar, it's gonna be destroyed, okay, because this whole place is wicked and it influenced the whole world. Iniquity has why it's cold. That's, that has, you know, it, it, this whole place is full of sin, and it has to be taken out by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Okay, it has to be taken out. 
Okay. Verse 13, Matthew 24 and 13, but he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. So the things that are coming, you endure. I speak for me first and foremost, and we have to pray for endurance. We have to, you have to pay for patience. You know, patience is another word, okay, which means going through the hard times, okay? Verse 14, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached preach in all the world for witness to all nations, then the end shall come. That's how you know we're at the end also. Okay? This is how you know that we're at the end also. And if men preach all over the world, not by simply traveling, but we travel through the internet. Okay? We travel through the internet. And we'll get to that shortly. Okay? Because knowledge, you know, it has increased. So you no longer have to Hop on a plane, bus, or train to get this word out. Okay, Daniel 12 and 4. Let's get it. Daniel 12. This is the book of Daniel, Prophet Daniel 12, chapter in the fourth verse, and it reads, But thou, o Daniel, shut the words and seal the book even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. That knowledge has increased. Okay. You got, you got a, a, everybody has a computer in their pocket, a pocket computer, your cell phones, but you can do lessons, videos, so there's no excuses. There's not, no excuses. And then a lot of this, you get free from the government, okay? You still can do do some lessons. You can put up some scriptures. You can, you, there's lots of things you can do, and it's simple, okay? Push this word, okay? Do the internet, Okay, this internet was created by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh, so I could get this word off. It wasn't created so you can do all that folly. It's, 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 it was created to get this word off, okay? Because knowledge has increased. That's Daniel 12 and 4, you know. It has increased. And that's how, you know, we we at the end again. The prophecies are throughout the, throughout the Bible, okay? But thou, O Daniel, shut the words and seal the book even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Knowledge has been increased. The book was shut up until the end. This is the end. We at the end times, okay? Okay. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna put this in here, okay, to let you know that we that it's, it's undisputable, indisputable. We at the end time, Joe nine twenty four, okay. We are at the end time. This is proof. This is book of Job nine twenty four, okay. Just to throw it in there, and it reads: uh, uh, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the justice thereof. If not, where and who is he? Okay, who's ruling that thing? Who's on the ruling scene? Who's on the, 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 the who's governing the world right now? You saw Edom, Richard Lee Bacon found it. Okay, look at that paper dollar, which is getting ready to be done away with. Okay, whose face is on it? Look at Mount Rushmore, okay? Who created the, uh, uh, what's the name of that place that they bombed? That they created and they bombed it. You know, the uh, uh, Georgia Guidestones, okay? They're telling you. We control this place, and we're going to limit the people in this place so that we can rule the NWO. You know, conspiracy theory? I don't think so. What's Revelation 13, 16, a conspiracy theory? I don't think so. Okay. Malachi 1 and 4. Okay, this is more proof, okay? Malachi 1 and 4. And it reads. To let you know who's who, who who's ruling right now and who's gonna fall. Okay, let's start at the first verse. The burden of the word of the Holy Father Yahweh to Israel by Malachi, the prophet Malachi. I have loved you, said the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, all caps. Yet ye say, where hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Said the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, yet I love Jacob. Did you hear that right now today? Jacob saying, 
You know, if, you, if the, the Heavenly Father loved us, how can we suffer? You know, we even told you it's going out through the internet, the highways, my ways, but Jake refused to listen. Okay? You hit in this situation because you sin. Go to Deuteronomy 28. The uh, first verse on down to the 14th. Those were the, are the blessings if we would have listened. Okay? Deuteronomy 15, 28, 15 on down to curses. Okay? But Jake refused to listen. Yeah, if the Heavenly Father loved us, then why are we in this situation? Because Jake don't like to read. Okay? He don't like to learn this. Okay? Verse, verse uh, uh, 3 in the reads, And I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his hairs his waist for the dragons of the wilderness. Okay? Verse 4. Whereas Edom said, We are in province, but we will return and build the, des build the desolate places. Thus said the Heavenly Father, Yahweh of hosts. They will build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness. And the people against whom the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, hath ended nation forever. Okay, so you know that Esau, Edom is ruling today, so-called rich and the bacon families. Esau, Edom, so-called white man, okay? Because the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in all caps, he is this, he is, he says this, Malachi 1 and 4, okay? He got indignation forever, okay? Indignation forever, righteous anger forever, okay? So that goes, that's proof, okay? And, and, and here goes some more proof. And this right here, it's going to say, say it all, you know. Then second Esther's in the, let's go to the Apocrypha Bible, okay. In which they took out because they don't want you to know these things. The 16, you know, 1611 King J Version Bible, okay. And let's go to, uh, let's go to the second Esther's 6. Chapter 9 verse, and it reads, For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. Okay? For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it, of it that follow it. Okay? So that's proof. That's proof. Esau is going to be destroyed for you so-called plantation uh, uh, Christians who, who think that he can be saved. Okay? And now we, hey, you got Jacob that made, well, we may look like the other nations, but if the Spirit go back to from your father's side to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay, we missed in with them. May look like them. We may like look like the other nations. But again, the father's side, the seed comes from the father. Okay? Not the mother. All right. But this word is going out. It's going out and it's supposed to go out day and night. That's the job of a prophet. That's the job of a watcher, being a watchman, okay? Let's go to the book of Psalms. Okay, I'm almost done. Book of Psalms, 19 chapters, okay. It's not the first verse. You know, the Song of David. The Psalm of David, the heaven declares the glory of the Most High Jehovah, and the firmament showing his handiwork, okay. Day unto day utter a speech, and night unto night short knowledge, okay. How, how it does that? Through the internet, okay. Day unto day utter a speech, and night unto night short knowledge. If you can look on a on on a, uh, 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 these social media media platforms, and you're gonna see there's so much knowledge going on on these social media platforms you can't keep up with them. Okay, there's no speech, no language where their voice is not heard. You know, you can send out this this speech to different parts of the world, and they're gonna understand it because it's gonna be transposed from that language to this language to their language. Okay. That line has gone out, verse 4, that line has gone out through all the earth, and their words to be heard, I mean, to the end of the world. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun. A tabernacle represents a house. Okay, let's look at that word, blue letter into linear. Okay. A tent, house, tabernacle. Let's see. Let's get to it. Look at that word, tabernacle. Strong's H-168. Oh hell, oh hell. No man's tent, and this is symbolic of wilderness, life, transience, dwelling, home, habitation, the sacred tent of Yahweh, tabernacle, okay, the tabernacle, okay. Verse 4, their line is going out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world, okay. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun, okay. So that's talking about those satellites in space, okay? That's those satellites. And what, the, what those satellites do? They beam down that signal to the receiver, 
And then in science, pose everything in language and then vision, visual. And hit these computers and these phones, okay? Not different parts of the world, all over the world. Okay, verse 5, which is a bride, which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, and rejoice as a strong man to run a race. So when you hear these things on the internet, through the internet, you know, people hearing in different languages, and they're going to, you got, you got GMS all over the world. They say, see, you got them in Ireland, you got them, I think in Ireland, you got them in Italy, you got them in uh, 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 Holland, you know, Philippines. I remember seeing uh, some, some brothers in the Philippines a few years back, okay, prophesy, okay. They're, they're all over. You know, everybody's being, the elected being activated, okay. Verse 6, his going forth is from the ends of the heaven and the circus into the ends of it. And there is nothing here from the heat thereof, okay. The circus, it's, well, let's see what circus mean, okay, circuits. Go to blue letter into linear, okay. His circuit. Let's, let's look at it. Strong's H8622. Tekufa. Tekufa. Coming around. Circuit of time or, or space. A turning circuit at, at the circuit. Okay. Let's see. Let's look at it. It's like you have electrical currents and lines and line go out throughout the earth. Let's see. Okay. Strong's H fifty three sixty two. Not calf. Not calf. To strike, strike off. To strike off skin, to go a, a, around, compass, round, circle going around. It goes around the earth, the whole earth, okay? Through the internet, okay? World Wide Web, okay? www. Dot, and then you do the rest, okay? To go around, surround, encompass, enclose, to make the round, complete the circuit, to make round, round off, okay? So there you have it on that, okay? Verse 7, the law of the Holy Father Yahweh is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Holy Father Yahweh Bahasim Yahweh is sure, making wise the simple. Okay, you can learn anything on the internet. Okay, you can learn how to, if you if you, if you got it like that, you can learn how to fix up fix up certain things. You can learn how to how to bake cakes or whatever. You know, you can learn how to use certain tools, okay? Because it makes the 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 simple wise, okay? Make wise the simple, okay? You don't have to go to the out of this, well, cemetery school, as the other apostle called it, and the rest of the uh, uh, apostles. If the Lord, Yahweh, by some your house, is dealing with you, okay? You'll be wise because he, gives, he makes the foolish wise, okay? And that's what they call us today, foolish. They call us you know, all the bywords and, and proverbs, but yet the little that someone may know do the Holy Father Yahweh by some your house is smarter than the world, it's wiser than the world, okay? The law of the Holy Father Yahweh is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Holy Father Yahweh by some your house I is sure, making wise the simple, okay? Again, that's why you see a lot of lessons going on day and night. No matter what time of day, they go out continuously. Okay, and we're doing this for our deliverance. Okay, out of there. When that time comes, it's, it's coming up fast, okay? It's coming up fast. And we got to do the things that the elect would do and will be doing, okay? Second Peter's 1. I'm almost finished. This is the book of Second Peter's, okay? And we're going to start at the 10th verse. And it reads, Wherefore, the rather, brother, give diligence to make your calling and lesson sure. For if you do these things, you shall never fail. Okay? You shall never fall. Okay? Doing what things? You know, studying, learning the breakdowns. 
uh, the scriptures, okay, the proper breakdowns, 100% true from the elder apostle and teachers on down, okay, and great millstone, okay, and walking, uh, 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 you know, walking in the spirit, you know, not being a hypocrite, doing the things that are pleasing to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, okay, continually doing this work to, 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 to keep that blood off your hands, okay, making a calling and a lesson, sure, okay, and praying, supplication, offending less, sinless, take rebuke, all our long suffering, okay? Continually learning. Now, I say this for me first and foremost, okay? We have to make our calling and lesson sure. Second Peter 1, continue. Wherefore, the brethren, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and lesson sure, for if you do these things, you shall never fall. For so an answer shall be ministered into you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord Yahweh and Savior Yahweh Shahab Mashiach. Okay? Romans 12. The book of Romans. Romans 12. I started at the first, first verse. And it reads, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High Yahweh, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto the Most High Yahweh, which is your reasonable service. This is our reasonable service, okay? You should be glad to do this, okay? You should be glad to do this because he gave, he gave us the eyes out to see. Our Lord and Savior, Yahweh, so had, had sacrificed his life for us to get this, okay? That's the only way back to our Lord and Savior, Yahweh, so. You can't go your, your, your own way up. It's not going to work like that. It don't work like that. We have to go through our Lord and Savior, Yahweh, side. Okay? Verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High Yahweh. Okay? Verse 3. For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as the Most High Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh, so I have dealt to every man the measure of faith. And faith has to be given to you. That's the only way we are able to go out there in the highways and byways. Okay? That's the only way we, we're able to do these lessons. And then this is, this, this, these, these are, you know, this is the living word. The living word of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh, so his beloved son, Yahweh saw the volume of the book. The whole book. Okay. St. Mark. This will be the last word of St. Mark 8. I'm going to go to uh, verse 35. And it reads. And he you know, it says. Yahweh Shai, 2,000 years ago, okay, it was on the earth. And when they send it up, by the Heavenly Father Yahweh, this is what he's, what, 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 what he's saying, okay, Mark 8, 35, okay, and it reads, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it, but whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospel, the same shall save it. Okay? For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his soul? Okay? So you got to forget all the things of this world, okay? We use the world but not abuse it, but you got to you know, constantly shake off that old man, that old woman, okay? And rebuild, rebuild your heart, your mind. Love, okay? Because the things that we learn in this wicked queendom, it has to be erased. It has to be erased. Because this right here, these scriptures, it's the truth. We've been lied to. Okay? And that's why those lessons go out every single day. And that's why we are to feed the sheep, feed the lambs. Okay? And we got to make, you know, we got to do this until we make, make, make the, let me see if I can find that. Let me see if I can find, find it. 
Let me go back to it. Let me see. Matthew 24. I didn't know my name. And we have to endure to the end, though. Everything that's getting ready to happen, we have to endure to the end. Can't find it. Can't find it. Can't remember. So like it for that. Gotta see. Oh, I can't really find what I was. I had it and lost it. You know, lost that that particular scripture I'm looking for. So in that respect.
Okay, let me do it this way. Okay. Let me do this then. Loop 926. Okay, then I'm going to end it. Yep. Loop 9 started at the 23rd verse. And it reads, and it's written in red, our Lord and Savior, how is I speaking? It's so like if a, and he sent it to them. If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, but whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. For what is a man's what is a man advantage if he gain the whole world and lose himself or be cast away? For whosoever shall be ashamed of me and of my words, of him shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he shall come in his own glory and his father's and of the holy angels. Okay. So this is putting on as the elect. Okay. Doing this work to the best of our ability. Okay. Being not, you know, and not to be ashamed of his testimony. Okay. And with that, uh, the water to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai for allowing me to bring this out. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rokapadash, that will honor to the apostles and the elders of great mills, so rule well and wise and humble and truth. And with that, Salawah.